Good morning, good morning. We are preparing for um, a morning prayer on this Friday, December the 22nd, 2023. Can you believe the year is almost over with? I'm just going to give it a second to see um, who's going to join us on this morning. I am Kimberly Dixon. I am one of the intercessors for the Praying CEO, and it's a privilege and an honor to pray with you all on this morning. I am grateful to be here. I am grateful to see another holiday season and just glad to be here. And we're going to give it another minute and we're going to get started right at 11 o'clock. I hope you all are doing wonderful. So it is 11 o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This morning, I'm going to be reading from the Jesus Calling uh, devotional. But and today's uh, devotional comes from December the 22nd, if you want to follow along with me. And it says, come to me and rest in my presence. See, many of us confuse rest and sleep. We go to sleep every night, but we're not necessarily resting. So we have to learn to be able to rest in his presence. As you ponder the majestic mystery of the incarnation, relax in my everlasting arms. I'm the only person who, will, who was ever sired by the Holy Spirit. This is beyond your understanding. Instead of trying to comprehend my incarnation intellectually, learn from the example of the wise men. They followed the leading of a spectacular star, then fell down in humble worship when they found me. Praise and worship are the best responses to the wonder of my being. Sing praises to my holy name. Gaze at me in silent adoration. Look for a star of guidance in your life and be willing to follow wherever I lead. I am the light from on high that draws upon you to guide your feet into the way of peace. And the scripture references for that devotion is, uh, comes from Luke 1 and 35 says, The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the, Holy, so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. The next one is John 1 and 14. It says, The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among, among us. We have seen His glory and the glory of the One and Only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. That's John 1, 14. And then the next is Matthew 2 and 10 through 11. It says, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the child with his with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. Again, that's Matthew 2, verses 10 through 11. During this holiday season, sometimes we get wrapped up in the gift-giving aspect of it, but we have to realize that Jesus is the greatest gift. And we don't get to uh, celebrate his resurrection during the Easter season, the Easter holiday, if there is no birth. Without a birth, there is no resurrection. No resurrection. You cannot be raised from the dead without the death first. And you cannot die without a birth. The birth of Jesus should be celebrated with great joy. His birth is the pathway to our redemption. And the last scripture reference from that devotional is, a light from on high will draw upon us, to shine upon us and give us light, and give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to direct and guide our feet into the way of peace. There's peace to be had if you want it, but we have to learn how to rest in God's presence, to Really just to let him, let him lead, let him take his yoke and let him lead. When two animals are yoked together, usually it, they'll pair an older one with a younger one. And the older, wiser one will take the lead. And in that instance, he, even though he's the older one, he's the stronger one. And through that, the young, um, 
whatever it may be, whether it's some type of horse, whether it's oxen, they learn from the older oxen that is leading the way. So when Jesus says, take my yoke upon you, it, that is him leading the way. So take that yoke, pair with him, walk side by side with him and learn from him. So we're going to go ahead and pray. And um, I pray that this midday prayer uh, boosts your spirits and lifts your holiday and that you'll be able to go through the rest of this week and the rest of the holiday season with some great joy and with great peace. Let us pray. Most holy and all wise God, we come before you with a bow down head and humble heart. Thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to see another moment in time. For we know that no second, no minute, the next hour is not guaranteed for anyone. So we are grateful and we are thankful for you allowing us to be in your presence or to be here praying together. Just one more time. There's an old song that says you allowed us to pray together one more time. Thank you for allowing us, the praying CEOs, to come together to pray, to worship you, to glorify you. Oh, hallelujah, how we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. We bow down to you. We blow kisses to you. Lord, you make our hearts smile when you think of you. The joy and the, the, the peace that we feel comes from none other than you. We thank you for that joy. We thank you for that peace, Father. As we come to you in a word of prayer, Lord, we ask that you bless those during this holiday season that are going through depression, that are going through the loss of the of a loved one. The holidays can be hard sometimes. Uh, people die, unfortunately, every day. So people die during the holidays. When you no longer have your parents or your siblings, the holidays can be tough because you have all of these memories. But I... I pray that you will allow us to have those memories and feel joy instead of feeling the weight of depression. You are our yoke. Let us place our burdens upon you so that we can have great joy and great peace during not just the holiday season, but all year long, Lord. Walk with us and talk with us and guide us. Lord, we pray for the women that are here in the praying CEOs, the ones who have businesses and the ones who don't. We pray that you will open up doors, that you will allow us to walk down a path that leads closer to you, that will lead us to prosperity, to abundance, to peace, to joy, to make it a change in this world, to be disciples unto others so that they see the light of you in us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for giving us a mind to want to pray together. We thank you for giving us a heart to want to share with others. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the leadership of the praying CEOs. We thank you for Kimberly and Jocelyn and Kim and all of the others who work diligently to make sure that someone is praying every morning for people not just here in our local community, but for people and women all over the world, business owners all over the world. Being a business owner, being a woman can be difficult. It can be really hard. It can be challenging. And so many times you feel like giving up. You feel like it's, it's too much for you to bear. But we know, we know we don't have to bear it. Bear, bear it. You are the one who carries the weight. You are our peace. You are our strength. You are our hiding place. You are everything, Lord. Besides you, there is none other. You are the lily in the valley, the bright and morning star, the rose of Sharon. I am that I am. Uh, Jehovah Shalom, the Lord of peace. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, El Elyon, the most high, the most high. You are Jehovah. There is only one. You are the true and living God. You are great and greatly to be praised. Lord, we bow down to you. We worship you. Oh, hallelujah, how we bless your name. We thank you, Father. Glory, hallelujah, to your name. Lord, we pray that your spirit falls upon us and that we are willing and able to see, that you give us a discernment that you see when someone needs to hear a word from you. That we'll know when we need to spring into action because someone needs us in that moment. Lord, we pray for greater discernment and wisdom and understanding. Lord, we know you know all things. 
that we pr we pray that you'll share a portion, just a portion of that with us. Because the way that you bear is too much for us. But if you would just share a bit of that so that we can help another man along the way. Lord, we thank you for the gifts. We thank you for the giver of the gifts. Lord, we are nothing without you. We pray for families that are grieving now. We pray for the sick and the shut-in. Lord, I pray that you run through the hospitals like a mighty uh, rushing wind, touching, healing, and delivering. Let them know that it was you that touched their ailing body, that the doctors worked through you. Lord, we've seen you perform miracles. We're asking you to perform miracles today for those who are uh, heavy laden, for those who are sick, for those who are grieving, for those who are in war-torn countries, who are facing natural disasters. All of those things, Lord, we pray that you come into the midst. And even though it feels like we are living in a world full of chaos, we know that you are still our peace, our joy, our resting place, our comforters. You are everything. Lord, I pray for every woman that hears my voice on today, next week, in the coming months, and in the coming years, that you will change lives by what's being done with the praying she owes on today. Lord, we thank you. We worship you. We give you all the glory and the honor. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who died for us, who gave up his life for us. We thank you for his birth, because without his birth, there is no resurrection. Without his death, there is no resurrection. So we thank you for the birth of Jesus on today, Lord, because it was through his resurrection that we are redeemed, that we are saved, that we live under grace and mercy. We've done nothing to deserve the favor that you place upon us. We thank you for that. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who walks with us and talks with us and leads us and guides. Let us hear your voice like a whisper on the wind, Lord. Let us know that it's from you. Give us a discerning eye and a discerning ear so that we don't fall prey to everything that we hear in the news, on social media, sometimes from our family and friends, so that we'll be able to discern the truth from a lie. Because we know that we don't have to defend lies. We can just not live in the truth. Lord, we thank you for that discernment on this morning. Lord, we praise you. We worship you. We give you all the honor and the glory. Amen. If anyone has any prayers, put them in the comments. And as the day goes on, excuse me, my, my chair slipped back. I'll um, come back and... Um, pray with you and um i'll uh read the comments so please as you listen to this throughout the day let me know that you were able to uh to join in and as always we are all praying together i pray that as you go through this holiday season that you'll be full of joy and peace and that you feel the spirit of the lord upon you so when you feel sadness or depression creeping in you'll begin to praise and worship him so that it will lift. Look, I thank uh, you for allowing me to spend this time with you on this morning. And again, I'm one of the intercessors with the praying she owes. I love you. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.